At this time, we are asking everyone to please bow your heads for a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day that you've made. We thank you, God, that we are rejoicing and we're glad. God, we thank you for sending your son, Jesus, God, allowing him to be born in a manger, God, but raised up a mighty King of kings and the Lord of lords. So, God, we thank you, God, that it just didn't stop at the manger, God, but we thank you for the life that Christ lived. God, we thank you for his death, burial, and resurrection. God, we honor you. God, for what we're going to do in the lives of your children, we thank you for this time of impartation, oh God. We just thank you for the different gifts, God, that you have blessed our children, our scholars with on tonight, God. And we look unto you as the author and finisher of our faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a Christmas carol presented by Word of God Christian Academy scholars. Come on, put your hands together and receive them at this time. Peace 
Remember to bring your money tomorrow for the mission fund. We're still a little short, so all of us need to dig down deep and give. Sure, that's the understatement of the year. I think we can do better than $30.25. Now, Isaac, I'm sure everyone is giving their very best. Here's my allowance. Thanks, Lauren. And here's my penny collection. Thanks so much. And remember, every penny counts. This is for a local rescue mission. They really need our help this time of year. In 2 Corinthians 9, it says, Each man should give what he has decided to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion. For God loves a chip for giving. What about what's glad to give to the need? What about you, Kevin? Don't you have something you can give? I'm sorry, everyone, but it seems my funds are a little tied up this year. Maybe next year. How do people get homeless anyway? They're kind of scary to me. They look so homeless. <laughs> Don't be afraid. They're just folks down on their luck. And every time we help someone, we're really helping Jesus in this mission for earth. In 1 Peter 4, verse 10, the Bible says, Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others. I guess that means we need to get up for Jesus.
got here tonight, Kevin? Sure, Mom, I'll be fine. It's just like Kevin is keeping watch on our flocks by night, just like the shepherds in the Christmas story. Hey, Kevin, what's that under your pillow? It's a $100 bill. Where did you get that? Grandma sent it to me for all the odd jobs I did for her last summer. Now I know just how I'm going to spend it. What are you going to do with all that money, Kevin? You remember the bicycle in the window key department store? You mean the one that's black and gray with all-terrain tires? The grand prize for the Christmas show? Yeah, that's the one. I really wanted the window, but now I don't have to. First thing Monday morning with this $100, I'm going to buy a bike just like it. Cool. What about the mission fund, Kevin? Aren't you going to give a little to help out the cause? Mom, if I give away even one cent, I won't have enough for that bike. Other people can give this year. Other people can give this year, Mom. I really want that bike. Sounds kind of selfish if you ask me. And who asked you? Enough of us kids. Let's say our prayers and get to bed. Go friend. Happy birthday, Jesus. We are so excited it's your birthday. Please bless Mom, Dad, Jonathan, me, and especially the help to Kevin so that you be a cheerful giver and learn that it is more blessed to give than receive. Amen. Good night, Kevin. Just remember, me and Dad are in the other room if you need us. Good night, Mom. We'll see you in the morning.
heavenly help. So he sat us down to the wind and wings. We angels love Mission Show on Earth. <coughs> Girls, we need to get down to business. It says here that your choir is raising money for a mission fund. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. But it seems my funds are a little tied up this year. Make sure I'll give a big Christmas gift. Christmas gift? That reminds me of the very first Christmas gift. That glorious night in Bethlehem that the greatest of all gifts came to earth. The gift was not money or a bicycle or a toy. In fact, the greatest of all gifts was a baby, Jesus. He's so cute. Like, totally awesome. The best baby of all time. You were so right on, Tamora. Jesus is and was the best baby of all time. In Luke chapter 2, verse 8 through 11, it says, And there were shepherds living out in the field, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And an angel of the Lord appeared unto them, saying, Do not be afraid, for I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For you in this town of David, there has been a Savior. A Savior has been born unto you. He is Christ the Lord. I remember it. It said it was yesterday.
is going to be a complete wipeout. No presents, no turkey, no Christmas toys. Well, Christmas came not. There was a little church down the street that had left the mission though. With the money collected, they bought a box of food and toys for Tim and family. They also brought him the cool message to Jesus. Timmy accepted Jesus as his Lord and Savior that night. And as you will see, the gift of Timmy and message of Jesus changed him forever. I see what you're saying. Thank you, Sue. But that was it. This is now. What can a kid like me possibly do today? Puppy, our answer to the present might help you, Kevin. But I would love to, Carol. In Psalm 118, verse 24, the Bible says, This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Remember, every day is like the gift from God. That's why they call it the present.
Snake is limited to the pit. Tell me yours from now, and you're getting old. While his life be a stand of love of the man, he's been in the pit. Sam has to give money, food, and clothing to the people. Sam is going to order them. You might give this time for Sam's gift to be good. But you will be wrong. Sam is going to give back a local restoration every week. His gift is keep on going. And going, and going, and going, and going! Kevin, one small gift can make a difference. Give it to Jesus bring us his blessing. Jesus loves and blesses a cheerful gift, and we must be on our way. Don't leave. You angels are so cool. I want you to meet my family. No. Our mission with you has given me, Kevin. Remember to seek the guidance of our boss when making a decision. It will lead to what is right. Okay, as soon as you guys went to bed last night, angels appeared in the living room. The four angels were named Peggy Sue, Bucky, and I need 
need clothes and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. Then the righteousness will answer him. Lord, when did we see you and feel you or thirsty? We will give you something to drink. When did we see you a stranger and invite you in a new cloak and clothes? What do you be think? All of them can ask me. The king will reply, I tell you the truth. Whatever you did for the least of the brothers of mine, you did for me. Matthew chapter 25, 35, and 40. Look to the past and realize that you